Hi, today I'm going to show you how I execute gperms. So there are four gperms. Uh, G Aperm, uh, which you can see headlights on the left and this block on front. Uh, G uh, B, headlights on left and this block uh, is on uh, back right. G C, headlights on the left, block on the back. And G4, uh, headlights on the left and block uh, on uh, right front position so there are two different algorithms for the gperms the ones that uses uh, u and d moves at the same time and the another ones that uses y d moves and uh, rotations so if i face g aperm and uh, the block is uh, matching to the center or the block is opposite of the center I do the algorithm which uses wide U moves and rotations so from this angle I do R2 wide U R prime U R prime U prime R wide U prime R2, then Y prime, and just need, I need to insert back this pair with R prime U R, and that solves this pair. But if I face uh, the case G A uh, from where the headlights uh, match uh, to the center or uh, are opposite of the center. So I do uh, the algorithm, which is uh, actually the same uh, that I showed you before, just uh, it uses U and D moves instead of Y moves, and at the end it has a D move. So it, the headlights are matching, so you do R2, U instead of Y, U. R prime U R prime U prime R then U prime instead of Y U prime R2 uh, instead of Y prime you do D and U prime at the same time like this and you finish off with inserting the spare the R prime U R and a D prime for G beeper, I use the same uh, technique I showed you before. If I have a block which is matching to the center or opposite, let's do opposite this time. Uh, so I use uh, the algorithm which has wide U moves and um, a rotation. So for this algorithm, I do R prime U prime R y r2 y u r prime u r u prime r y u prime r2 and i need to do at the end a u f which is u2 i don't need to think if i need to do a u or a u prime so it's easier in just a spot uh, if it's opposite or not opposite so if I face headlights, let's do the same with this. So headlights are opposite. This is a G2 or GP. Uh, so I hold it from this angle, the same angle, and I do A prime U prime R U and D prime at the same time. Then R2 U A prime U R U prime R u prime r2 and d and u2 like this then for g c perm uh, i don't use uh, the algorithm which uh, 
uses wide uh, U moves and rotations, mainly because uh, for that algorithm you need to think about uh, this block for uh, doing AUF. So uh, um, for GC param this block is on the back, so it's really hard to, to spot it. So I do uh, another algorithm, which I'm going to show you uh, later. Uh, and uh, that algorithm which uh, uses U and D moves uh, and uh, has no AUFs if the headlights uh, match or if the headlights are opposite, so I do uh, U2. So, from this angle where the headlights match, I use this algorithm which goes R2 U prime R U prime R U R prime U R2 D prime and U at the same time like this and then R U prime R prime and D and that solves this PLL. But if I face this angle, there the headlights uh, are on the right, and the block is on the front left side. Uh, so I do uh, another algorithm, uh, which uh, does not uh, require uh, AUF if this block uh, match. So from this angle, you do R2, F2, R, U2, R, U2, R prime, F, sexy move, which goes R, U, R prime, U prime, then R prime, F, R2, and that solves G, C perm. And finally for G, D perm, I use the same technique as I use for G, uh, A, B. So I have this block here. If I if this block is matching to the center, so I do uh, this algorithm: R U R prime Y prime R two Y U prime R U prime R prime U R prime Y U R two, and that solves uh, this pill. If I have uh, matching headlights, uh, so I hold from the same angle and do this algorithm: R U R prime U U prime and D R two U prime R U prime R prime U R prime U R two and D prime. And that solves this PLL. So, I hope you learned something today and see you next time.